Now you're all smiles here, but you are, I love the voice, like yeah, the flip too. of the switch. Can you say, I love good morning football in that voice? Just that demeanor? Of course I can. I love football. Go with Giants. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just such like a, just flips it on, you could right? do that. Yeah. Listen, your show blind spot is all about <laughs> there's tattoos. Your co-star's body is full of them, and it's yeah. all about deciphering them. So we have some tattoos on NFL bodies that are a little bit mysterious yeah, as well. Let's take a look at some of these, and maybe you'll help crack the code Give behind the them. That's Von Miller. If that was the clue in the case, what would you do with what that? What do you that? take from that? Is, is that a lead? Um, is, is, well, it looks like a chicken or a rooster. Yes, so, that's right. Is that a cock or a hen? Uh, I believe the first. Uh, the, the first <laughs> of the two that you named. Yep. So what, I mean, the body's at K KFC or something like that? How would you follow that lead? <laughs> Finger looking good. Dude. That's right. And on that note, let's get to the second tattoo. All right, you're officially gone from Sullivan to Sully. We've now crossed Sully. that border. What's up, Woo! Sully? Let's go on Give to... him the second tattoo. Uh, let's go on to another tattoo here. Who we got? This is Odell Beckham Jr., wow. a member of your New York Giants, and it seems to be an Escape from New York theme. There's the Statue wow. of Liberty's head. Are you familiar with Odell? Uh, no, Odell I'm not. Beckham. Okay. But I'm familiar with that picture. There's, like, so that's a mural of New York City. Yeah, and I think there's a Planet of the Apes thing, too. So, um, do you have any take on that as the FBI agent? Can you get into character with that cool voice? What does that say, say about him? You think? Oh, I'd love to see his mom's face when he came home with that. I hear that. Man. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a lot of artwork there. Um, Patient, that's what that is. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we mentioned you are in 300 Rise of an Empire, which I loved. I had a date night with my wife, Brooke, and we watched that movie. <laughs> and it's, seriously, I, everyone saw the original. If you, if you by sense, you didn't see this, it's a better villain. There's more action. It's an incredible movie. A lot of NFL players try to embody the Spartans. They want to be you. As the guy who was the Spartan, what do you want to be? Do you want to be a, a famous football player? Do you want to be a rugby, Australian rules? What, what do you want to be? Well, as, 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 that, uh, as that general? I just wanted to win the war and, you know, kill all the Persians. And you um, did. Yeah, we did. But uh, I also wanted to say goodbye to that six-pack that we had to get for that film. You go into fat camp, don't you? Yeah, I did. <laughs> like, real quick. And it was good, but it hurt. Right. I mean, that kind of training and stuff, you know, I mean, a lot of the boys know about it. It's, it's hardcore. And then we know you all sit. about that. Yeah, yeah sure we do. <laughs> we live in fat camp here, man. I love that. But you sit there and you get a bowl of pasta and you know a glass of red wine after it, and I ate it, you it's know, true. like a piglet, and well, it hurt. Well, somehow our very like, own no. Nate Burleson can eat pasta bolognese all and day. You and athletes wine and, and you still Spartans. Look like that, so great. So Sully, I thought maybe we might need uh, some more Australians in the conversation in the table. So we have uh, a video of a surprise. Uh, say hello to oh. you, guys. Roll the video. What's up, Sully? Brad Wing here from the New York Giants. I hear you went to Sandringham High School. I actually spent a bit of time in Sandringham myself playing for the Dragons. Um, I feel like they actually really prepared me to come over here and play. Um, obviously, you know about Aussie rules, a lot of kicking and bowling. So growing up playing that sport, I think it put me in the best position to play this punter position over in American football. That was a good surprise. Um, I hear you're also a, a new Giants fan, so we're excited to have another Aussie in Giants Nation. I, I hope we can get you out to a game soon, and if so, bring the Australian flag. How about that? That was Brad Wing. He was saying, of course, how excited he is to have a new Aussie in Giants Nation. I think he talked about Sandringham High School. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's that like, man? What do you think? You're welcome to New York. Oh, wow, uh, that was awesome. <laughs> That's a nice surprise. Be a Giants. Yeah, right. What is it about Aussies and punters, man? They have the best punters on the planet. Uh, we can kick. I mean, you know, that's that's sort of what AFL was based around. You know, you, you pass it, you pass that ball, or you kick it through those posts. And without any pads cool. on. And without any yeah, pads. Yeah, 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 yeah. You are great, man. Check out his show on NBC Blind Spot. When can we watch it? Uh, you can watch it Wednesdays. Uh, Wednesdays. NBC. Wednesdays. 8 p.m. 8 p.m. Wednesdays.